Hello everyone, welcome back to Caden TGM, the Golden Mine Card. This is Mark again, coming at ya. Alright, today we got a simple one. This is just a, it's an old Prime Star uh, satellite bit box, conversion box, etc, etc. Not a whole lot to it, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. There's some gold on it. And a really, a really nice board with a lot of chips on it. Just some plastic here to recycle. A little bit of irony stainless. About a pound or so of wire. Maybe a little more than a pound. Nice heavy piece of iron ferrite. That stuff's so heavy you can get a lot of weight quick. I pulled this off. There's not a whole lot of nothing in here worth going for. It's too hard. Just some small copper spools. It's not really worth going for. I mean, you could take needle nose pliers and grab them and pull them out if you really want it that bad. But unless you're, this is the only thing you got to do. Uh, this is one, you know, I would let go because I've got plenty to do. Here's control board. Obviously, you got some tactile switches. You got some LED lights. You got silver in those. Over here, about five, ten pounds of shredder steel. Uh, there was just a little booger on here. There was nothing in it. That is a crystal oscillator. Wherever it went, there it went. That I got out of there. I was hoping it would be one of those with the gold underneath, but it wasn't. And that's a plastic chip, probably no gold in it. Wouldn't waste my time going for it. There's a little piece, that thing there's got silver in it. I'd cut that off just for the heck of it. This is another one right here on a small piece of board with a tiny piece of copper. It was a switch that I decided to take apart. Just to see, let's hold this the right way for the, this can be so hard sometimes. See, it's just a small piece of copper right there. I was hoping it would be a silver button. And I don't believe that it was. Right there's the other part. It looks like there's a button in there but i believe it's just a rivet it doesn't appear to have any tarnishing or anything like that 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 it was a silver button but i'm gonna take it anyway just in case it did over here we got the power board nothing spectacular wish i had better light here all right we have transformer here. These little blue things got the silver in them. Don't forget that. Uh, there's several of those on there. There's a piece of extruded aluminum here. Piece of extruded aluminum here. And these odd shaped ones here. And I put a magnet to these. All these are magnetic right here. Sometimes they're aluminum. But when you run across them. Take a minute to take the edge off because I have found several of them that are actually copper. They just like painted copper. So you can throw that in with your copper pile. Not a whole lot of much else. Plastic chips and there's some more of the little buttons that contain silver in them. Nothing on the back, just solder. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Now let's look at this main board. Pretty cool. Just chips upon chips upon chips upon chips. Chips everywhere. Alright, let's get to the gold. This is where the card goes. If you're lucky, you'll get the card. and It'll have a little gold spot on it. And this back piece right here, 
it's got gold on it too and it seems to be a fairly rich looking gold rich in gold color I mean it's a higher carrot that's what I'm trying to say um, there's some gold pins right here right here it's like five gold pins I had the plastic piece to show you but it's where one of the old-fashioned plugs go into it I just pulled it up and off and there's five gold pins right there and there will be two gold pins right here for the telephone line hookup I did not look into this one but sometimes there is gold in those so look for them then I went over here and I saw this pretty cool and then I pulled one of the pins out and I became disappointed until I split it open let's see if we can get a good view of it here let me make sure I got it turned the right way there it's not a good focus right now but you can see that there is gold on the tips of these pens it's not a whole lot of gold but still it's pretty easy see most of it's not gold but there is a little smidge of gold right there on the tips of these and a big long one um, you can take a pair of pliers and you can kind of just like bend this up on both sides and then get under them and pull this loose with a screwdriver or a good pair of pliers once you kind of break it from the board on both sides I use my wire cutters to do it and then pull it off and then you can cut those pins off pretty easy but that's basically it I don't think there was anything else to show you about this now, like I said it's not a lot oh yeah move my finger out of the way On the back, there is quite a few MLCCs on the back. Quite a few. This focus is just awful. It's not focusing very well at all right now. There you can see that's MLCCs there are quite a few on the back of the board so if you collect mlccs there are plenty of them here for you and remember mlccs that are magnetic do not contain palladium in my experience mlccs that are not magnetic do contain palladium so you just lay all your MLCCs out on a table or something and then just run a magnet over it and let it pick up the ones that uh, are magnetic don't just pull it from a pile because it'll pull some that are not magnetic with it in the pile lay them out nice and flat and then just pick them up and that's how you can sort that out and get your MLCCs with the palladium that way you can process different but they all contain silver uh, thank you very much thank you very much for watching today we appreciate all your support please don't forget to give us a like share this if you'd like to um leave a comment it really does help in the algorithm help build this up uh subscribe please if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do that now because i'm going to have quite a bit more to come i've got some unusual pieces that i haven't got around to yet 
but they're coming pretty soon some medical stuff and satellite receiver things that go on trucks um that's about it today i hope everyone's having a great day like i said we appreciate everybody that has watched and given us a thumb giving us a thumb up uh, thanks, and yeah, everyone have just a wonderful, wonderful day, week, month, and year.